What is up, my Sportalites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, boy, did we make a bank. I uh, basically just got a lot of money, spent a lot of money, and have been working on upgrading the island ever since. Now, it has been a few days, and there are some loose ends, well, specifically one loose end that I would like to tie up before we get into the nitty gritty of today's episode. And that is a very big weed there. We're gonna get rid of that. The main objective of today's episode is to, well, finally go to work. To finally get ourselves a dang job. Because listen, I can catch bugs all day long and in past Animal Crossings, doing stuff like that, catching fish and whatnot, that was the main way of getting a lot of money. But in this game, well, it still is, but uh, there are alternatives as well. We also should probably get a job because it is in our best interest. I mean, I am kind of just spending only about 30 to 45 minutes per day running around, getting miles, doing very basic tasks, making sure every single freaking flower in the entire island is getting watered as well as my crops and whatnot, but it still doesn't take me that long to do all that. So I need something else to keep myself busy. Before we do that, real quick, we're going to head on in here because I wanted to demonstrate something in the last episode that Tom Nook locked me out of. And uh, yeah, I would like to be able to make some changes. So why don't we head on over here to the construction consultation counter. And we are going to make some changes to the house. So about my home. I'm talking about your home. What should we discuss? I want to customize. Customize the outside of your home for 5,000 bells. You place your order now to be ready by tomorrow. So are you interested? Yes, please. All right. I'll show you your design catalog, and you can choose what you'd like for your home. Okay. Let's go over each of these things. So as of right now, we only have three options. We have a roof, we have a door, and we have a mailbox. All of these are... Uh, well, we have some basic ones for right now, but we can make some uh, much grander changes later And we can even also change the exterior design of our home But for right now, we're stuck with roofs We only got tile roofs as an option, but you can go with absolutely any color you want So if I want to go with purple, yellow, red, aqua, pink uh, got a whole bunch of color options here, which is good. I'm going to stick with black for now, but the door is where a lot of changes can be made. And, I mean, you've got all sorts of different kind from a super fancy, like, almost regal door. I guess if you're going for, like, a castle theme, that's a thing. Uh, you can get some iron doors, which, I mean, also kind of has that castle. So does the Zen door. I mean, they, they've all kind of got that design. Now, metal accent door. This is a little bit more traditional in look. You've got an imperial door with the nice glass on it. More iron grill door, which is a bit more contemporary in design latticework door which is a bit more cottage-esque vertical panes door a bit more modernized as well i mean it would probably be extra modern if they were square as opposed to arched um, and then you got window door which is i believe what we have right now and then a basic door as well as a common door you also have wooden doors and a very simple door as well as a rustic style door. So it all depends on what you want for your house. Now these door customization options are going to mean a lot more once we're able to actually adjust the exterior design of our house. So as of right now, there's not a whole lot we can do. I think I'm going to go with something pretty simple here, uh, probably a little bit oakish. I think I like the dark brown iron grill door the most for right now. Uh, you know, it does kind of stand out a bit, doesn't it, though? Um... I need to have something that just that isn't too over the top. Oh, gosh, you know what? Maybe that isn't working. The more I look at that, the more less I like it. Um that actually works pretty well. Let's go with the metal accent door. Now for the mailbox, okay? We have a couple mailbox options here. We got an ordinary mailbox, which is, well, better than what we have, because right now we are going with just the standard rustic mailbox. Um, but we can also get the... So we got the ordinary mailbox options with different colors. We got a square ma mailbox, which is probably my favorite of all the options. Got a wooden mailbox here, and then finally a large mailbox, which is probably my second favorite. Uh, this just makes more sense for putting packages in, too. So why don't we go with a blue large one, and then in once this is all done, I can actually demonstrate uh, how you move your mailboxes around, which is actually incredibly simple. In fact, I think I could probably go do that right now um, before we do anything else. So that is just a sneak peek at some of the customization options that are available to us for the time being. To unlock more, we're going to need to continue upgrading our house, given that we still have a basement and an upper floor to get, as well as more uh, storage upgrades to get. It's going to be a little bit before we get to that point, but uh, let me head on over, or back on over to the house. 
and we are going to demonstrate how you pick up and move your mailbox around. Very simple, the same way you'd really pick up and place down any other item, but I can pretty much put it almost anywhere I want. In fact, I think it is. I can put it exactly anywhere I want, so I can just straight up pick this up. If I wanted to just stick it right here to the side of my house, like kind of out in the front, I, that is absolutely a possibility. I could also, even if I wanted to, take it all the way to the front of my uh, quote-unquote yard, and uh, I could even stick it like right here if I wanted to. And then just retrieve it all later so I can have all my mail right there. As I'm leaving my whole front yard area, I can just go, oh, pick up the mail right here. So there's a whole lot of options with where you can, I mean, you can, again, you can put it literally anywhere to your heart's content if you so desire. I, I think I'm going to put it actually on this side just because there's no flowers in the way. I'm going to stick it right there for now. And that's probably where it's going to stay for the time being. But I do like that it's not like directly in front of my house anymore, which does free up space for you to do additional things with it as well. And also, that is a bug that I still have not caught. I should probably try to catch that. Hold on. Uh, not that one that I just scared away, but this guy. So let's go really carefully, really carefully, really carefully. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, finally got myself this Roselia Betessi beetle after scaring it away like three separate times in this playthrough already. But enough dilly-dallying, we're going to head off to the airport now, and we are going to go to work. And I literally mean go to work. Like, if you go and select the option, I want to go to work, that is where we are going. Here, I'll even show you. All right, buddy, let's talk. Wilbur. Or, no, sorry, you're Orville. Sorry, the other one's Wilbur. Hey, what are you, okay, how am I going to help you out today? I want to go to work. Go to work. Roger that. I can set you up right now, but you ready? I'll pack and stuff. I sure am. Don't worry. There, You don't really need to worry about what's in your pockets when you go to work. There's not much you're going to be doing with them anyway. Even your tools do not matter much here. So off we go, and we're getting a little bit of a special introduction this time. And this was kind of the bulk of the second, uh, the 2.0 update in Animal Crossing was the addition of this mode. By the by, playing Levi, is this your first time flying these particular skies? There's a bunch of little islands scattered around here, real pretty. Tropical fruit for your eyes. Also the regular kind of tropical fruit. Yep, I can see a bird landing on one of those islands and deciding to just stay grounded for a while. Not me, though. Oh, sorry there. Just realized you're heading into work, aren't you, Levi? Well, uh, in that case, take a look at the monitor in front of your seat and take it easy while you can. So just as much as this is a uh, DLC for Animal Crossing New Horizons, this is also technically a sequel to the 3DS game Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, uh, which is as effectively, mechanically, the very same thing that we're about to deal with, although it is not integrated into a mainline Animal Crossing game. I mean, it was to a degree, like you could transfer over furniture sets and whatnot to New Leaf, but for the most part, it was its own separate product. This time around, they have decided to change things up and actually make it a more a part of the game. And hey, I recognize your face. Hi, welcome. You must be the newbie that Lottie was talking about, right? That's right. Well, I'm glad the island sent you to me. I'm Nico. I work with Lottie. Everyone is so ready for you. The office isn't far from this pier, so let's get going. All right, so we get to meet Nico the lemur. Gosh, he is so unbelievably cute. So Lottie, we already met Lottie at one point. Uh, we were introduced to her by Tom Nook. Lottie is the sister of a character named Lyle, who is unfortunately not in this game. Uh, Lyle is the one of the people running the Happy Home Academy. Yes, the very same Happy Home Academy that's been sending me letters, uh, rating the uh, sc uh, and scoring how good my home looks at any one time, my interior design and all that. Um, he is also one of the driving characters of the first game, Happy Home Designer. Uh, but this time around, it looks like his sister has set off on her own to uh, start a different venture. Adventure. So, we're going to go and say hello to her once again, and again, we're going to get to work here. 
Ah, there's the trio I know from the picture. So yeah, that picture that we got at the very beginning of the game is now explained in full as we get to meet all three of them. Welcome, I've been waiting for you, Levi. And welcome back to you too, Nico. Thanks for leading the way. I think Nico has already introduced himself, but I'll introduce you to everyone formally now. Everyone, this is Levi, the person in charge of our custom vacation homes. Glad you're here, Levi. Aww. You'll help, you'll help Levi out, won't you? I'd sure be grateful. <laughs> Please say yes. Should have said that. Of course, great to have you on the team. Just remember, I'm your guy if there's anything you need. The islands around here are kind of like my backyard, you know? Yep, our Nico is the expert when it comes to all things local. He can take you straight to any island you need. Aw, oh, you're too kind. I'm also trying to learn more about sales and home construction, so ask me anything. Next up is Wardle. He's in charge of managing furniture procurement and other related matters. We also sell furniture and souvenirs here in the office, so he's in charge of that part of the business as well. Staff can make purchases too, so check out the products later. You might find something interesting. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's the whole team. I just know the four of us are going to do great things together. Go team! Yeah, go team! And not much from Wardle. He is not the biggest chatterbox in the world. It's policy to wear a uniform when you're working. You'll find yours in the lockers upstairs next to the mirror. You can use whatever you like in the staff room, including that mirror and the cabinet up there as well. All right, just call me when you're finished changing. All right, so first things first, we're going to take a look at the furniture here. So there are some new options here. In fact, there are options that are entirely exclusive to the Happy Home Paradise DLC. Uh, like this, I believe it. For I think actually all of these are completely exclusive. Now, to get these items is a little bit more complicated. You're not going to be able to spend bells to purchase these. You're going to have to get them by, well, doing work. And uh, that is going to take time and a lot of effort. But it is also a nice little distraction from the main events of Animal Crossing. And we're going to be spending a lot of time with this uh, continuing to level up because you actually get a whole lot of really awesome rewards for things that you can use back on the main island just by completing tasks here in this DLC. So let's change up our look really quickly. And we need to put our uniform... Uh, that's not what I meant to go to. I meant to go to the locker. Why did I do that? There we go. Sorry. Looks like our uniform is in there. And we're going to want to put that on. You can use this locker to make changes to your work outfit. So we actually have a whole lot of options, but it's only the stuff that is immediately available to us that we're allowed to use for our uh, use for our outfit. So we can't just use any old clothes that we decide to choose. Like if I want to look like a freaking carnival guy with, I, I wouldn't, don't know why I do the mini straw boater. I absolutely can. I'm not going to be doing that, obviously. We're going to go with something uh, a little bit more uh, formal and generic. Probably not... Probably not the absolute standard pick, though. I'd like something that looks at least a little bit more comfortable. But yeah. Oh, then let's go with some cargos. I like that, too. Get some cargos. What do we got for our, our... So our... Okay, we only got the one top option. There's our bottoms. As far as headwear is concerned... Ooh, I do like that. I actually do like the denim cap quite a bit. Get a top hat? No, we are not going to go with a top hat. Um, nor a knit hat, actually. I'm not going to. I'm not out here trying to look like I am one of the crew members of MTV Cribs. Um, I will definitely go with the square glasses because this is actually what I wear in real life, right there. I've been trying to get those frames this entire playthrough thus far, and uh, have not been able to find them, or I've not had any luck so far. Goes every day socks and. We could do business shoes. Eh, gotta have something that actually fits the fits the look here. Do, 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 do. Faux suede sneakers. I like that one a lot, actually. Steel toed boots. Yes. No, I think we'll just go with the the sneakers, and that'll probably be. I could go with the high. Let's go with high tops. I like that. Perfect. All right, there we go. Cool. So I think we are ready to go to work. Uh, is there anything else up here that's like worth looking at? Looks like you could fit a lot of stuff in this box. I wonder if that is anything special. We also have a bed here. If I lay on it, is that going to do anything for me? Nope. Okay. Just want to be absolutely sure. Looks like I can store things in this cabinet. You can use this cabinet to access your home storage. Okay. Uh, I mean, that would be nice for moving around furniture once we unlock them. But unfortunately, we do not have anything just yet. So why don't we just get to work? Let's stop wasting time. After, I just wanted to explore the room a little bit. Now we can talk to Lottie. Oh, you look so official, and the fit is just right. Fantastic. Well, now that you're all decked out in the official garb, let me just say welcome to Paradise Planning. Did I forget to tell you about our name? We're Paradise Planning. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? 
Our goal is to help our clients live out their dreams and vacation homes of their very own. So we have to get to know them on a personal level to deliver on that promise. I just know you'll be great at it, Levi. Now, I think it's best to learn the job, so I'd like to get you started straight away. I'm here to help you as much as I can, but remember, I'm here. What I mean is, I can't leave the office. Not to worry, however, Nico will be joining you for your client consult consults. You got it, Lottie. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be right with you the whole time. You can even call me boss. I mean, if you want, boss. All right, now all we do need to do is find some clients. Uh, that sounds like a client to me. Welcome. Well, isn't this a darling little office? I've heard this is the place to be when one is looking for a vacation home tailored to one's needs, yes? Indeed, we are taking orders. If you could join me over here. Actually, today just so happens to be the very first day we are taking orders for our vacation homes. Well, with splendid timing. Now then, I've been a visitor here many times, and this island always helps me feel relaxed. I suppose the atmosphere just suits me. Do you know what I mean? In any case, I think it would be quite marvelous to have my own little getaway. The thing is, I haven't the slightest idea about how to make such a thing happen. That's what we're here for. No worries at all. We'll do our best to make your dreams come true. Just tell your hopes and dreams to Levi, and they'll get started right away. Come on, let's all have a seat in our new meeting area. Now we can meet like professionals. All right, and I do believe this is staged outside. So we're all get to hang out, and then Eloise is going to tell me all about what she wants out of her home. The breeze is delightful here, but a wonderful spot to conduct business. Let's get to it. Shall I just go ahead and describe my vision? Yes, tell us all about it. Paint us a picture. Do you have any thoughts on how you'd like to spend time at your vacation home? I can think of nothing else, and I'm very particular. I'd ha I have some furniture I'd like to use no matter what. You see, my ideal place is like... My relaxed reading room. Okay, so she wants a nice place to chill with a good book. And I mean, that is such an aesthetic there, Louise. I totally sympathize with that. Relaxing reading room. Yes, that's a wonderful theme. Our client has a dream. Please fulfill that dream, Levi. As for the location... Well, I've had my eye on a particular small island near here. It's the one that looks like... Oh, yes, that island. Well, then, you'll need to head to the site to complete the next step of the process. Good luck with the client at the job site. Nico will take you by boat. Once you're on location, you can get to work right away. I can't wait to see how it all works out. All right, so we have our first gig. So why don't we meet... Well, I guess Nico's probably already taken us there. Look at the little... He's so freaking adorable. Well, it looks like the island has been picked out for us, although this is kind of barren, not gonna lie. And here we are. Watch your step. So that's gonna be my vacation home. I'm so excited. Can we go see what the inside is like? You bet. Come on, let's go. All right. Well, I guess we're not messing around with the outside, at least not yet. All righty. Oh my, what could be in these packages? I promise I haven't been shopping online yet. Oh yeah, these are the furnishings you requested earlier. Well, talk about service. I only just made that request. My order is, order is already here. Now we got some prep to do first, so I need you to hang on for just a minute or two. Okay, newbie, this is it. The show. The real deal. The big time. Obviously, the stuff the client orders shows up ahead of time. Take it out of the box with A, and then it's your job to arrange it and, you know, make it look nice. But before we get to work, let's just real quick go over how work works. First up, get into decorating mode. Okay, yeah, we know how to do this. And then you can check your furniture that you need to use and what is requested by, by Eloise, what's the required stuff and all that. We're all set, so it's time to get to work. Here we go. So excited to see the finished product. Be around, so let me know if you run into any trouble. Now show us what you got. All right, let's do this thing. So we're going to take all of these items out immediately, and this is going to give us uh, uh, the, just the basics, basically. We're then going to head into decorating mode, and this is where we're going to start to mess around with things. And you'll notice that there are a whole lot of additional options here. These are pretty much everything that is available to us right from the get-go. Now, I want to actually go in the top-down perspective almost immediately. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting some things over here. So why don't we put our little chair over in this nook, and then we can start moving some things around. So notice that we got all sorts of different chairs. If we want to put additional ones, that's great. We got a wooden end table, which I am definitely going to put down. Uh, sofas are an option. We also got beds, a lot of ranch options, open wooden shelves, a wooden block bookshelf. I think I'm going to put a couple of these down. And yes, you can absolutely go with variations on each of these as well. If I want to actually change uh, the color that I have on my main bookshelf right now, I can actually put that down and replace the current one with something brown, dark brown, white, etc. Um, I am not going to be doing that, at least not yet, but I am just going to put down a few things here. Uh, wooden waste bin might be nice. Oh, we definitely want to get a coffee cup going on one of at least one of the tables probably. 
Um, as far as the rest of these are concerned, we can get magazine rack. I mean, a lot of these are just kind of fitting the theme. Fragrance sticks, those might be nice. Um, or, or And then a fragrance diffuser as well. I love how you can also put down Eloise's own photo here if you so desire. But now we got to really mess with the, the walls and the flooring here. So let's take a look at some options. Ooh, I actually really like that, like, almost immediately. Um, the pastel dotted wall also could be nice, maybe with some green paint flooring, but this looks, a, that's a little bit too old fashioned, I think, for what I'm trying to go for here. Let's go with something a little bit more contemporary. That's also nice too, the green blossoming wall, although again, gives it just a little bit more of an old fashioned look. Uh, we're also going to definitely put up a lamp if possible. So let's do that, or I guess I only need one lamp, but I'll have to mess around with it. And we also have options for rugs as well. Uh, is that a little bit too big? No, actually, that's perfect. Okay, really awesome. We also have different clothing options if we want to put those up, and then KK Lullaby. All right, so let's close this menu really quickly, and let's do some organizing here, first things first. So I definitely want to give her a little bit of space to work with here. Um, I think... We should definitely have this on the opposite side. So what I'm gonna need to do is actually move this lamp downwards a bit. Let's go right about there. And if we can move this down onto the ground, let's put this one on this side. Or actually, that should probably be next to a bed, huh? I think that's actually a good idea. Let's go, ooh. You know what, let me see if I can actually add one more uh, smaller item here. Just a, just a wooden mini table might be the best. Yes, let's do that. And we'll put this here with a stack of books on top of that, just kind of next to the whole library scenario. Now, as for these, I'm actually going to put all these on the ground right here. Um, I think, oh, I did not want to move the rug. No, we're going to want to keep that where that is. Let's move this around over probably this way. And we can actually kind of rotate just to see how this is all sort of coming together. I'm okay with putting this one directly in front of the window. We will put that there, and I'm going to rotate that so it's nice and it's in a nice spot. Um, oh, I can't put that in the very next square. Okay, that's fine. We will go right about there for that, I think. Now, as for... Ooh. You know what? Maybe I should do this, actually. And let's put the coffee next to where she sits. All right, now we need to get a bed down for sure. Uh, let's see, a uh, ranch bed or a wooden... Honestly, I like the ranch bed just a little bit more, especially since we're already using a rocking chair. So, ooh. Okay, let's let's move some more things around here. I might be going overkill. I think I actually want to put that one away, and I'll keep this one here. Um, but do I want to put the bed over there on the side? I mean, I want this to be up against a wall or a corner of some description probably go like that maybe then have this at the foot of the bed with probably books stacked up on the end here and then all we got to do now is deal with this empty corner here so I think we'll also add there was the wooden waste bin which I will put down or oh, should I also put a radio too that actually might be a good idea that's a little bit too big for my liking though Hmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. I mean, does any of this really matter? No, here's the thing. Once you get pretty much the essentials down, the game doesn't really care about all the additional stuff you put down. It's just there to, like, make the person feel better. And especially because this is going to be, like, a permanent staple, you're going to come back to this house and it's always going to have things. You know what I mean? So, me, you know, it's just kind of in your best interest to make it... Oh, I didn't mean... Well, I guess rotating that doesn't really matter. It is symmetrical. Um, you just want to make sure that you always have things that are, like, interesting. You know what I mean? Um, I guess we could put the wastebasket right about there. And then I, I think I want to put, like, one more thing up on... I mean, it does not everything needs to have clutter but it is just a little bit more cohesive. And then, oh yeah, and then I definitely have to also move the uh, this lamp definitely to the center. Do I want to have both? Is that really necessary? I guess it is. Um, although I, uh, part of me wants like a smaller lamp, but that would obviously want to sit on the, on an end table. Goodness, there's so many freaking options here. Um, maybe, is there anything I'd want to put in the center possibly? I feel like I've got enough. We don't need to have an aroma pot and fragrance sticks. We can get cream and sugar. 
That could be nice to have. Um, yeah, why don't, why don't we do that? Let's put that over here. We'll just kind of leave that right there. Perfect. Okay, I think that's a nice little combination. So very something very simple here. This isn't obviously too complicated, but as long as we got the major things in, which is the rocking chair, the stack of books, and of course the bookshelf itself, I think we're good. Now we can obviously get a lot crazier with colors and whatnot, and we could obviously try to hang up as much as we can, but I tend to just like something that's a bit more cohesive that's going to, you know, have that cozy look to it. I'm not the happiest with the two lamps here, but I also feel like only having one isn't going to be enough, especially if you're trying to do some reading. You would probably shut the main one off and then just read by this lamp, but that can be nice for, you know, the main lamp can obviously be nice for when you're doing other things about your home. So I don't know. I think I'm okay with having both. I just wish that I could have something a little bit different, but I, again, I don't want to put too many end tables down. All right. I think I'm good with that. We're going to finish. And then we are going to say, what do you think, Eloise? How's that vacation home coming along? Is it ready yet? It's ready. You did it, thank you. And now we get to see the fruits of our labor. Oh, it's exactly how I imagined it. No, it's even better. Oh, I'm so glad I asked you to do this. Thank you so very much, Levi. It's marvelous. Well, look at you. Your first job is a huge success. I can't wait to tell Lottie about the great work you did. Well, it looks like uh, we passed the test. I'll take it. I mean, again, it's not super demanding, but it is. it still feels good to get that stuff done and to have accomplished it, even though you really only need to put down the essentials. Welcome back. So how did it go with our first client? Tell me everything, Levi. It went perfectly. Even though I was a little nervous, but I'll say it went perfectly with confidence. Really? That's wonderful. The client was thrilled. I'm super impressed with how professionally Levi handled it at all. That's so great. The more happy clients we have, the more our business will grow. I think the sky's the limit, and I'm so glad you've joined the team. And thanks for all your help, Nico. Our newcomer is in great hands with you. Just doing my job, but thank you so much for noticing. All right, I should head back to the pier now. I'm already excited to get started with our next client. Hope you're ready for more, Levi. I sure am, Nico. Oh, there's one last thing. Here, this is for you, Levi. You didn't think you'd be working for free, did you? Here's what you've earned so far. 6,000 pokey. Not bells? Oh, gosh, that's another important detail I should have mentioned. In this region of islands, we use pokey instead of our b and bells as our everyday currency. You won't be able to spend pokey back home on Moreau, nor can you spend bells here. We may not have a lot for sale here right now, but I'm sure you'll find a few things you like. Okay, I will happily take that. Anyway, thanks again for all of your work so far. Come see me when you're ready for another job. All right, I think I am, but I do want to take a look around and see what your items are really quickly. It says it costs 4,100 pokey for beach chairs with a parasol. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to keep looking at all these just real quick. A small cafe table. Ooh, I do like the look of that, though. I could probably use that for something. Um, let me let me keep looking around really quickly. We're obviously going to get more pokey. I don't like this lamp, though. This has got such an 80s look to it. Banker. Oh, you know, that actually kind of makes sense. Banker's lamp. I like that. What about the CRT? Uh, you know, honestly, if I could play Melee on that, I mean, I probably can, but I would like to also get the GameCube and Smash Brothers with it. Ah, eh, whatever. Okay, I think I'm going to buy the Beach Chairs with the Parasol, and that is sold. And then I'm also going to buy the Cafe Table, which, I mean, I wish I could get multiples of those, but I will take that for now. Cool. So if I ever wanted to get rid of those, I can obviously go up to my uh, storage and send those. And it's obviously connected to the one at home, and I could send those by. But given that I have plenty of space in my pockets, I think I'll be okay. All right, Lottie, let's talk again. I'm ready to work. Please change into your uniform. All right. And luckily, this time, it just does it for us. 
Look like you're ready to go. Now let's see. I think you've got a handle on how vacation home design works. Your next lesson is sales. I'd like to get uh, like you to get out there and promote our vacation homes. Last time the client came to our office, but the truth of it is, you can't depend on walk-ins. Luckily, we got a really talented staff, and that includes you. And a talent I want you to develop is sales. And so I want you to chat with the vacationers on the island and offer our services to them. You'll do great. It's not that hard. Folks will buy anything if you convince them they need it. Trust in yourself and go with the flow. You'll be making deals in no time. Good luck out there. All right, so let's head out onto the beach, and you might remember before that there really wasn't anybody outside when we first arrived on the island, but all of a sudden now... Also, what's up, Nico? Hey, there you are. You're starting on your next job? Yeah, well, Nico's here to help. Look over there. Oh, yeah, now we got villagers here. Visitors like to hang out on the beach over there, and who can blame them? So you've come, they've come all this way. They're soaking up the vibes. They must be thinking vacation home, right? All you have to do is look in their eyes, and it's almost like you can read their minds. Yep, the ones who are dreaming of living in paradise have it written all over their faces. Well, when you're ready to make your pitch, all you need to do is try to talk to them. Good luck. All right, let's see who we got. So we got the, these two at least. Um, is there anybody else around? Well, it doesn't really look like it, so we're probably going to have to just pick one of these two. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I know you. Hold on. We're going to talk to you in a second. Is there anyone else around? That's Maple, I believe. Is, isn't that her name? Let's talk to her. I like Maple. I'm not sure what we've met. My name's Maple, and you're working for Paradise Planning? Lately, I've been dreaming about finding a vacation home of my own. Maybe you can help with that. Let's chat. Oh, really? That's great. Can you imagine saying, maybe another time? Oh, I'm only on the clock or whatever. <laughs> oh, really? That's great. Let's strike while the iron is hot, shall we? All right, here we go. So we're immediately on to another uh, sales pitch. Let's give it a shot. Thanks for your time, honey. I think I'd like for my vacation home to feel something like this. A beautiful, a bountiful bear bungalow. Oh, you you really got an affinity for bears as a bear. Got it. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right, now let's decide on the location for your vacation home. Have you given this any thought? Hmm, that's a good question. I can't say I've given it much thought. What do you recommend? Well, then we will prepare a location that is simply perfect for what you're looking for. You can check the available plots on that map, Levi. Just choose a location you'd like to recommend and let the client know. All right, so we are going to have a whole lot of options. Just any location, each of the Thailand Islands in this area has its own characteristics. You can change the season at the location by using X. You can also build multiple vacation homes on the same island. All right, so we have a whole bunch of them here, and you'll notice that there's multiples on certain islands. Now, given that it's a quote-unquote bountiful bear bungalow, I would like to honestly give her something a little bit foresty if possible. Not something with baobab trees, are you kidding me? Um, I kind of like that one, and honestly, ooh, actually, you know, that might honestly be the perfect one. Um, you got some different seasons here, too, and you can obviously change the seasons if you want. A lot of them are set to certain defaults. I would like something very summery here, uh, just given, you know, that she's a bear. We want to give her somewhere to thrive that's very, that's berry berry, if that makes sense. Um, let's see, ooh, let's see. I mean, on it, okay, as far as the season is concerned, I should clarify this. The season is not going to be locked to whatever you set it at. It's going to be, well, whatever season you're actually playing the game in. It's just a way of previewing how the area is going to look depending on the seasons. Um, I'm torn between this one and this one, honestly. Not so much that one. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. It just seems to fit the best. So, I didn't know you had location options like this. I'd love to see it in person, honey. All right, for the next step in the process, you'll need to head to the site. Would you mind accompanying the client there now? I know you're going to knock it out of the park. All right, Nico, take us there, buddy. And off we go. All right, we'll have to see what this looks like. Ooh, not bad. But notice the, uh, the fence lines here. You're not going to be able to build anything past that. It's even better than the picture. This is just my style, honey. So you found a good location. That's great. I'll be waiting here till you're done. If anything, if things go sour, come talk to me for advice anytime. You got this. Want to enter the set up the yard as well? Just press the down to enter decorating mode. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll leave you to it. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you too. So yes, we can start by uh, designing stuff here in the yard. So let's immediately go into decorating mode here and see what we can add out here. So designing an outdoor space is a little bit different. You can change uh, the outdoors how you want just to look at it. You can even uh, do some things like adding fences and whatnot, which we might do at some point. Uh, but for right now, we're going to start with the outdoor stuff really simply. So there's a couple of options here. I think I would very much like to have a wild log... Uh, a, a sort of a log setup here. We got a log stool, which that, that's definitely outdoors. We got a garden chair. Um, that's a little bit too tacky, in my opinion. Just it's that plasticky style. 
Uh, we'll go with a log bench here and then a log dining table. We'll kind of add those outside. A camping cot could be nice. No, we're going to definitely go with a hammock. Are you kidding me? That's actually way better. And actually, uh, I am going to not do that. I'm actually going to put uh, this away because I actually want to customize the variations of the hammock really quickly here. So let's see. We can change. I think I like the frame, but we can change the cloth. Well, actually, that might be the best one out of all the options because a camo hibiscus flowers in a, in a pattern that I don't have any access to right now. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. And then as far as this is all concerned, ooh, we can add campfire cookware as well. Um, let's see. Anything else outdoor? Also, ooh, actually a wasp nest. I think I will do that, and I have a plan with that a little bit later. Um, let's go with a picnic basket. A picnic basket! A picnic basket for a, for a bear. I think that's a, a little bit too perfect. Okay, I'm going to add, well, I'm going to move the wasp nest here, and we're going to put this, maybe I should probably put this against that a little bit more. There we go. And, okay, let's see really quickly here. Um, if I remember correctly, let's see, am I not, I thought I was allowed to put down trees as well. But maybe I'm not at that point yet. I do only have the pass that I have access to, unfortunately. Also, why did I... I did not mean to... I wanted that centered. Thank you. Um, am I really not allowed to put down trees? I could have sworn that I was allowed to. Um, oh, I, I totally can. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, we're going to put down some cedar trees here. And we're going to move these around. Um, ooh, I got to put these in a little bit more of an open space here. Uh, ooh, you know what? Actually, let's do this. Let's take that out of the way. Can we move this about there? Put that out of the way for a second and then stick this one just adjacent to it. We can, but I don't know if that's going to fit in between. It's not. It's just, a l Ugh, it's just barely not enough space. Okay, let's go the other way with it then. Um, let me set that over there. And this is, yeah, this is as far in the corner as it's going to get. And, oh, it's not going to work that way either, is it? Nope. Gosh, dang it. Okay, uh, time to flip this whole plan around. Gosh. All right, we're going to go all the way over here with that. I'm actually going to take the table and set it up. I could go right about there and then move the tree down one. I, can, I wish I could put the trees a little bit closer to the cliff, but alas. Uh, let's rotate that sideways. There we go. I want to move that. There we go. That's okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, let's take this tree here. We're going to rotate this so it's right up against the edge. And remember, this is just the outdoors. These are all options that you can do. Uh, or, I mean, I can do... Oh, that's right. I forgot I, I can even change the bridge here. Um, ooh. Let's see. Would a wooden bridge be better? Or a zen... Br uh, you know what? I think I like the suspension bridge just for the whole... Just for the whole aesthetic. And then, yeah, we'll stick that wasp nest. Uh, let's let's put it, like, right about there. It is a dead wasp nest anyway, so it's not a big deal. And it's got that... Again, it's got those honey vibes. So we could also add more flowers if we wanted to. So those are all options as well. Um, I think I'll add a rock somewhere. And then we'll add a couple of... Let's go with some wind flower. Well, oh, what would be the best option here? Maybe some cosmos? with a couple yellow cosmos and a white cosmo and we'll kind of put these uh in spots up here there we go i like that just her own little garden that she can have over off to the side and then as for a rock i think i'll stick that right about there and maybe up a square yeah i like that okay cool all right i think i'm satisfied with the outside for the time being let's head on in and when we can start making some changes here And that's all this is. This is just constant decorating, trying to fit a certain theme, messing around with the different things that they give you. Ooh, ooh that's a, those are some really big bears. Okay, let's uh, get to work here. So into decorating mode again we go. I'm going to set you off in the corner for a moment. And you in the other corner, you each get your own respective corner. Uh, we'll put that about right there. And now we can get to work on the furniture. So 
Let's see. Closed closet. Let's see. Uh, ooh, a ranch kitchen for sure. Let's also get a ranch cover. Let's get it just, you know, we're just going to kind of fit this ranch theme here really quickly. And I think I'll stick with the color that we've got going on right now. We also got some decorative shelves. Can I not put those up on... I thought I could put those up on the wall. Maybe I'm crazy. And then, yeah, we're definitely going to go with a cabin look here. Um, herringbone? Really? Natural block fits a little bit better. I could have sworn there was a much better option for cabins, but maybe I'm crazy here. Uh, how's the avocado mat look? I don't really like that all that much, honestly. Um, what about glowing moss rug? You know, that could actually work a... Ugh. It's not as cohesive as I would like. I think I could make the round one work, but I don't like that one too much. Um, is there any way... I thought I could put these up on... I could have sworn I could put those up top, but I, apparently I cannot. Okay, so let's put that away then. Um, let's put the low table next to this. We're going to put the uh, kitchen over here. Just like so. And this has got to be right next to the kitchen. At least I think so. All right. Now, let's see. Were there any indoor bed options? There aren't really. Um, I could go with a camping cot, but I think I'm going to uh, change the color on that a little bit. So let's see. Something. Pop pattern. Simple pattern. Ugh. I don't really like the color options. I'll go with the simple pattern. I think that's probably the best. We'll set that on the other side here. Now, there's a couple more things I can do here. Um, I could put the log round table in the center. How big is that? That's actually not too bad. Let's move the rug to the center, and then we'll put this kind of right over top of it. Is that... I feel like that fits a little bit. If I can also add... What, what can I add here? Is there anything I can add to the wall? There isn't... Oh, there is. There are some options. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, wait, no. Are these... I think these are all actually the things that I have in my home and also all of my DIYs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, iron wall rack. Yeah, I don't really like these as options very much. Yeah, we're just going to stick to the order for this. Yeah, because you can absolutely add your own items if you so desire, but I'm just going to go with the stuff that she actually wants. Rather than messing with things too much. I will put the portal roll radio down. I, I kind of like that idea. Although. Can I not like. Really? That's the song that it's going to play. Are you okay with that maple? Because that's a little bit ear grating. But whatever. I'm going to stick that about right there. What else can we add in here really quickly? Because we got the mama bear. The teddy bear. Can I add a panda as well? Maybe a. Maybe a baby bear on top of that. Yeah, I like that. And maybe that can go up here on the table. All right, I think that about covers everything. There's not really a whole lot of options left for me to pick from here. It's just kind of basic. There's not really, like, lighting options. I could add, like, an umbrella off into the corner or something like that. Just kind of sit that over here. But yeah, the furniture options are extremely sparse. So I don't think there's going to be much I can do as far as the indoor is concerned. Uh, should I, I guess I could also just add a chair. That'd probably be for the best. And we'll just kind of set that about right there. Well, what do you think, Maple? I mean, you didn't give me a whole lot of options on your order, but are you okay with this? I certainly hope so, because it's what you're getting. So let's talk. It is ready. Here you go. All right, let's see the fruits of our labor. And is it going to show us the outside as well? I think, I believe this following scene is dependent on where you tell her that it's ready at. I don't think she explores both the inside and the outside. So I think she's only going to look over the inside right now, even though I have made changes to the outside. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Well, Maple, as long as it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. 
You were pretty low maintenance with your options anyway. Now that I've seen what a wonderful home you made, I'm especially glad I asked you for help. Do you think we could take a photo of this place to mark the occasion? Okay, let's do it. Thank you, you can take photos in the I know how to do that. Speaking of cameras, we have design portfolio with photos of the properties we've handled. Would it be okay with you if we showed yours in there? Oh, certainly. Great, thank you so much. Okay, then go get some amazing pictures, Levi. When you get a shot that screams, that's the one, close the camera app for a second and show the client. Be careful not to accidentally hit the shutter again and overwrite your picture, though. Heading back outside. All right, well, why don't we do that really quickly? Can't wait to see your photo. Let me know when you're done. All right, so what I'm going to do... So then the home is decorated. You can press this to change outfits and to move folks around. So what I can do is I'm actually going to pick Maple up and set her in the chair. We're going to then finish that. We're going to go into the uh, the camera here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I am actually going to hide myself. We're going to rotate this around really quickly if I can. Let's kind of set this into just a... Yeah, is, is that okay? Maybe I should rotate it a little bit more. There we go. Let's go with that. Cool. All right. I feel like that's a pretty darn good photo. Now let's talk to her. You able to take a nice photo? I sure did. Tell me what you think. It's wonderful. I always remember the joy of this moment when I look at this photo. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much, Levi. Oh, man. What a productive first day of work, I gotta say. I feel like it's gone really, really well. Welcome back. How did things go out there? Yeah, I, I think it went great. The client was really pleased with the results. So that's another job well done. Way to go, Levi. Here's the 6,000 Poke you earned for this job. And yeah, I could pretty much buy out the rest of the available furniture today if I want to. Show Lottie that photo you took, Levi. Is this at the vacation home you just worked on? Wow, it looks great. The client asked us to take the photo and also gave us permission to use it as an example of our work. Oh, how wonderful. You know, I've been using an app to organize information on all the properties we worked on. Adding photos will make it easier to see what sort of a design we used for a given vacation home at a glance. Let's test it out now. Can you pull out your phone so I can send you the app? Uh, sure. This is just going to be basically like a catalog of all the things that we've done thus far. But there we are. The Happy Home Network. Okay, there we go. You can check info on the vacation homes that you've worked on at any time with that Happy Home Network app. Now then, can I get that photo you took? I'll try to add it right now. I guess I'm sending it to her. And I like also Maple's little sticker on the top. A bountiful bear bungalow. Looks like it worked and I think the design looks great. I think we'll use the photo in the app to advertise Paradise Planning's design portfolio. So she'd be proactive about adding photos when you work on future vacation homes, alright? Thanks for your help! All right. Okay, do you want to call it a day or do you want to keep working a little bit longer? I think I'm finished for today. Take it easy and rest up. Beautiful. All right, I'd say we are good now. So I think I'm going to buy off at least the VCR as well as the plant here because, again, these are exclusive items. So a Schifflera. We'll take that. Hey, Wardo, what's up? Morning. Nothing? Nothing at all? All right, buddy. Well, I appreciate it. Okay, so that was, I'd say, a pretty darn good introduction to how this is all going to work. Uh, looks like we're pretty much done here, but gosh, we still have so much more work to do. I mean, that was only two homes done, and there are a lot to be done. If you remember looking at that map, oh my goodness, did we have a whole wealth of options of places to stick uh, many different homes. And if we actually go into the Happy Home Network app for a second, we can take a look at this really quickly. So we got our pictures, we got the relaxing reading room, which I did not get for Eloise. We got facilities, and all it says is Paradise Planning, but if we take a look at the map again, yeah, there are a lot of options here. I mean, my goodness, like, do I want to actually count every single one of them? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32... 33, 34, 35, I might have missed some, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and I think we've already done two, so 50 total, that's a lot of homes, that is a lot of potential spots to uh, decorate homes, and that is a lot of work to be done, but we are just getting started, and guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you all so very much for watching. In the next episode, we are going to continue our Happy Home Paradise excursions here. We're going to continue working on homes. We're going to continue trying to do a good job. We're going to continue earning pokey, but we're going to do so on a brand new day, so I hope you're all looking forward to that, and I will see you all in the next one.